are a few tips for managing a photo library with iCloud and getting the most out of Apple's Photos app. To get started, you will require an iCloud account. iOS and macOS users can freely create an iCloud account that includes 5 gigabytes of storage. When launching the Photos app, every photo you've ever taken appears in the camera roll. It can be a bit intimidating. Along the bottom of the application, there is a small heart icon. Keep this in mind the next time you've got a dozen puppy photos to sort through. Mark your favorite by tapping the heart. Now step out to the Photos home menu and select the Favorites folder. Everything you've hearted is sifted down and can be easily shared. To adjust overall brightness in a hurry, click the Edit button along the top right panel. The automatic color correction is quite nice. A magic wand appears with an overall brightness slider. Even on the Mac settings, the details are preserved in the brightest areas inside the photo, like these flower petals. Vignettes work well too. By darkening the edges of the frame, the center of the frame appears to be brighter, which helps draw in the viewer's focus. The Photos app for iOS can be used for photo management for all kinds of pictures and cameras, not just photos captured on the device. My friend sent me a batch of photos. He used a point-and-shoot camera that didn't have GPS. Geotagging these photos to organize them by location is pretty quick. Tap Select and tap on each photo to tag. Tap the Share panel from the bottom left. Select Adjust Location. And now type in a name. This could be the name of a city, a zip code, or a specific business. Now when I search for this city within the search field, just these photos will appear. All iCloud documents are available from any web browser, and this includes photos. All of my albums and favorites appear just as they do on my iPhone. And any image enhancements I made on one device carries over to another. For my flower picture, I can choose to download either the camera original file or the version enhanced by the auto tool. The macOS version of Photos also syncs perfectly with the work started on iOS, and it has a few extra features. One of my favorite tools is Auto Enhance. It works just like the Auto button I showed earlier, but on the Mac, I can grab an entire photo shoot at once and process in a single click. This works great for posting to social media quickly when there isn't time to do a proper edit on each individual photo. Another one of my favorites is the Selective Color tool, and this one is only available on the Mac. In this picture, the trees look really nice, but the green's so consistent, we can have a little fun. Open up the edit panel found in the top right of the screen and toggle Selective Color. Use the eyedropper icon to sample the shade we want to modify. With the green selected, we can push this towards cyan or even gold. These are just some of the ways to organize and enhance your pictures using photos. Don't let the simplicity of the app fool you. It more than punches above its weight when it comes to managing your digital life.